one of my favorite programs too. So it should be fun. Um, I will tell you in advance that my allergies are absolutely through the roof. I've taken every pill you could ever imagine to try to keep them under control, but uh, I don't have anything other than allergies. So I'll let you know if I start coughing. So I am very excited about this awards program. It's a great thing that we're able to do each year. And it's our day to recognize those that serve and yet do not seek recognition for all their hard work. They're selfless, inspiring, generous, and they're, those are just some of the characteristics that these recipients exhibit. It's an awesome day to be at the Rotary Club of Peoria North, in person or in Zoom. Hi, Zoomers. <laughs> I wanna introduce the people who actually put all of this together. The Wizards Behind the Curtain, Dick Marshall, Ashley Shrek, and Brent Oates. Awards Committee. The wonderful thing about awards is that they can give you a tremendous amount of encouragement to keep getting better. I love that about this. So every one of our award winners today, this is just the beginning. We expect better. <laughs> <laughs> our first award is the Peoria North Rookie of the Year. And the criteria for this award are they must have been a rookie member during the last Rotary year, have active membership status in Peoria North Rotary, be a member in good standing, it's highly visible and known by members of the club. They've been involved with community projects, participated in additional club activities that help to strengthen the club, such as social events, leadership opportunities, and contributed to and or served on other committees within our club. And they demonstrate outstanding leadership on rookie committee sponsored projects, as well as introducing visitors and or candidates for membership of the club. So presenting the Rookie of the Year Award is Katie Neidicher. Uh, Katie Mueller is also a co-chair co for the rookie committee, but she has taken a new position. And so she's joining us um, via Zoom. Um, so I'm presenting this on behalf of the both of us. This year's recipient has far exceeded the expectations of being a rookie. This person jumped in helping with any task that the rookie committee has taken on, as well as activities outside of the committee. On most occasions, this person wasn't asked, but volunteered and asked how they could be helpful. While this person prefers to do the work behind the scenes, making things happen, they also participated at the podium. Likely, their least favorite activity of Rotary. The person has co-chaired the school supply drive, the food drive, and has been part of the rookie golf outing committee. She has participated as a Roosevelt reading buddy and has been actively engaged in meetings with great attendance. She has pushed me to be a better rookie leader, asking the hard questions and wanting to understand how things work. This rookie has helped at the raffle table, volunteered her office space for committee meetings, and went on her first holiday bus tour. Yeah. She has nearly made it to her blue badge, joining Rotary just one day after her birthday. Please help me in congratulating Mickey DeLong as this year's yeah. rookie of the year. And then I believe we also have a speaker. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. so I get it. You can say some words if you'd like. Oh, boy. I'm at the podium. Well, um, I guess it's clear I am my mother's daughter. <laughs> Um, I honestly, ups and downs this last year, and you guys are the up. So look forward to it every week. Um, love to participate and meet everybody. Um, it's just been an absolutely wonderful experience to be a part of your club. So thank you for having me, and thank you for this. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, my husband, Tori DeLong my youngest child, Theo DeLong, and my sister, Krista, who wants to become a member. Yeah. I have to get her back here. Okay. 
Thank you, Katie, and congratulations to Mickey. Nice to meet your family, more of your family. Boy, I admire you guys that can read your speeches on your little bitty cell phones. I have, I have to print this off in huge font and everything and have my paper sitting there. Okay, our second award is the President's Paul Harris Fellow Award, being presented by Peoria North Rotary past president, Mark Whitlock. Thank you, Kim. <clears throat> jokes, joke. I don't have any jokes today. This is serious business. Joke. Wow. So there's three guys who walk into it. <laughs> Over 10 years ago, at the encouragement of past presidents such as Harold Radcliffe, the Peoria North past presidents established the tradition of presenting a Paul Harris Fellow Award annually to a member of our club. Funding for the award comes from contributions by the club's past presidents. The purpose for making the award is to recognize an active member of the Rotary Club of Peoria North with regular attendance, leadership potential, and someone who exemplifies our Rotary motto, service above self. And before I begin, I'd like to have all the past presidents come up and line up here uh, to be present for this award. I thought I was whispering time. Get the water balloons ready. <laughs> Good group. All right, today I have the honor of presenting the President's Paul Harris Fellow Award to this year's recipient. I would like to first thank my fellow committee members who helped to nominate this year's recipient for this award. Past President Wayne Shelton and Past President Adam Hawks. This was no easy task with so many deserving members we have in our Rotary Club, so thank you both. This year's recipient, already a multiple Paul Harris Fellow, has been a member of our club since 2007. For the past 15 years, he has been involved in just about every facet of our club and club programs. Local projects, literacy, both the RI and Peoria North, North Foundations, and the list goes on to truly paint a picture of service above self. My fellow Rotarians and distinguished guests here today and on Zoom, without further ado, it is my pleasure to present the 2021-22 President's Paul Harris Fellow Award to John Entrobus. like to say a few words, John? Uh, sure. Yes, I'm a loss for words. So I, I guess it is a big day for me today with, you know, I gave the invocation. <laughs> uh, I had my uh, uh, everything. So I just want to thank you guys very much. Uh, this was not expected. And um, just thank you very much. Thanks, Mark, and congratulations, John. Some of us knew that that was going to be a big day for you today, and it's just going to keep coming. Um, next is one of my favorites, the Fred Sweat Fellowship and Service Award. This award is inspired by the example of fellowship and service exhibited by Fred Sweat over his tenure of membership in the club from 74 to 91. During this time, Fred served on numerous committees, on the board of directors, in various offices, and as president. In addition, Fred played the piano weekly, took time to visit or advise, and always added a special wit and humor. In short, Fred contributed much to fellowship and service at Peoria North. 
Presenting this award today is Peoria North Rotarian, Carol Hulkren. Not taking anything aside from who I'm going to talk about next, but John, I've never known you to get a lot of words before. <laughs> Today, it is my pleasure to be talking about someone that we all know and admire. Greg Rashid is a lifelong resident of Peoria. He attended the Catholic school in Peoria, graduating from Bergen High School, and then went on to further his education at the University of Notre Dame, gaining him the title of Domer Dad by his kids. Greg has built himself a, continue, built himself a community in Peoria. Aside from his involvement in the Peoria North Rotary, he has served on the board and volunteered in various capacities at the Peoria Art Guild since 2011. He's a former coach for the Peoria Notre Dame boys and girls tennis teams. And this past year, he assisted with a marketing sales course at Bradley University. Greg is a car enthusiast. He used to work in the car business and one would be surprised to know he's working on his walking car or he is a walking car encyclopedia. When he isn't spending time volunteering with various organizations, you can find him golfing in his senior men's league at Mount Holly, driving his array of cars, car, I can't read today, cars in road rallies, traveling with Stephanie or sipping on an old fashioned while watching the Green Bay Packers or the latest car auctions. He's an extremely proud dad to Parker and Anna and thankful for the opportunity to spend time with them, whether attending a family reunion, visiting with them while they attended college, hanging out with their friends, or just simply talking or texting with them almost daily. Their close relationship is undeniable. A few words to describe Greg would be caring and passionate. He's always going above and beyond for his family, his friends, and his peers. He cares about the Peoria community and he shows it through his actions and his continuous support. He's always pushing everyone around him to be their best and he always points them in the right direction. Not only will he give you great life advice, but his level headedness will never lead anyone astray. So let me present Mr. Greg Rush. Hey, wow, look who's here. Wow. <laughs> Been trying to get Anna to Rotary. <laughs> wow. Fun. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. Wow. My daughter, Anna, my son, Parker, and my better half, Stephanie Diders. Wow, this is way well, yeah, out. Remarkable. Thank you. Thank you. So kind. Thank you very much. Um, I think Parker came to a meeting with me a few years ago, and Stephanie comes every now and then, but Anna's been folding out. So nice to see you. I just talked, I just talked to them on the way here. <laughs> Gee whiz. I don't even know what to say. You know, and Carol and a few others got me involved with the Rotary Foundation, with our Pure North Foundation over 10 years ago, and that's been wonderful. And, you know, and Dick's part of that, and so many of you. So, uh, thank you. This has been a great ride for 16 plus years, and yeah, a lot of it because of those three. So, thank you. Thank you. Very much. Do we have a couple more guests? Okay. okay. I think we have a couple more guests for Greg back here. No, oh no. Greg. Okay. John. Oh, for John. John, you need to come here up here again, again, <laughs> and introduce your guest. Hi, my guest and I guess made it today. Thank you for coming. So this is Jody Walter, my girlfriend and my mother, Diana Lindahl. So thanks for coming, guys. Thank you, Carol, and congratulations, Greg. 
Um, Greg is very, very uh, dedicated to the Fury Art Guild too. So uh, I've seen him at work in both places. He deserved the award. Okay. And now it's time for the award that has the longest name, Rotary Club of Peoria North Paul Harris Fellow Award. This is awarded to an outstanding Rotarian that has provided exceptional service to Peoria North Rotary, Rotary International, and the community. The recipient exemplifies the ideals of service above self. They're a member in good standing and meets club attendance standards. They participate in a lot of club activities, contribute to growth and development of the club, and is perceived by others as being a good person, having a good reputation, and following the four-way test. Presenting this award today is our very own awards committee member, Brent Post. Good afternoon, everybody. It's my pleasure to introduce our recipient today. Uh, the, pers the person who was selected to receive the Rotary Club of Peoria North Paul Harris Fellow Award is a person that's been active and involved member since they joined the club. They participated in community service projects and they've contributed to many other committees. This person is also a quiet and humble leader who enjoys serving others. They also recognize the importance of hard work, a good work ethic, and of course, they fit the four-way test of Rotary to a T. Now, here's a clue. Our recipient's wife mentioned that he has achieved a lot in his academic, professional, and personal life, and that not everyone, now this will give it away, can grow a beard as solid as his. I don't believe there's gonna be an argument from that from anyone. If the last clue didn't give it away, I will now. Our club 2022 Paul Harris Award recipient is Jason Getz. Graduated from Washington High School in 2000, Bradley in 2004, and uh, he's the president of uh, Getz Fire and Equipment, which was started by his grand grandfather. And I kind of got that mixed up. So Jason, you get on up here. And, uh, you would have used your guests. Thank you. This is the last thing I got off my phone call. <laughs> my wife Lindsay, my brother Jesse, and my dad Rod. So thankful that they're here. Our kids are at youth camp, so that's why they're not here. But <laughs> this is a big surprise. Totally was not expecting this. Um, everyone in this group is probably deserving, and. It could have gone to anybody. So I'm thankful to be part of this group. Congratulations, Jason. And thank you, Brent. Our fifth and final award is the Community Paul Harris Fellow Award. This recipient is selected by the awards committee from nominations submitted by club members. They're a part of our community and they are not a member of Rotary. Nominees should exemplify the qualities and ideals of Rotary and service above self, be active in community affairs and be known in the community as one who follows the four-way test. A little Rotary history here. In 1907, the Rotary Club of Chicago, the first Rotary Club, under the leadership of Paul Harris, the founder, they initiated the first Rotary Public Service Project, creating a public comfort station, public restroom. This project launched Rotary into its service above self path, and the rest is history. And is there anything more important than a restroom? <laughs> I spent a lot of time in China. There is nothing more important than a restroom. <laughs> A thousand dollar donation has been made by the Peoria North Foundation, naming the award recipient as a Paul Harris Fellow. And presenting the Community Paul Harris Fellow Award for this year is Jeffrey Allen. Makes you feel better. I hate to print my own. <laughs> so, um, this year's winner um, is, is one of the 
one of the things about being in school as a principal, principals never get the good jobs. It's always the parents who are unhappy about something, students fighting, all these bad things. But when I when I met David Poles um, many many years ago now, um, he is he is truly one of the the nicest, kindest educators and uh, people in the school system that I have ever met. Um, some brief background, he has been a teacher at both Mark Bills, Peoria High. Um, he has been Teacher of the Year. He has won the Habitat for Humanity Award for the Habitat Hero. He has been just an all around great guy. And when I, when, when I first met him, um, you kind of always wonder how much of this is an act, how much of this is you know, genuine, you know, first night meeting the parents. And um, I, my children were were students of at, at his at Washington, gifted for seven years, and then three more years at Rich or four more years at Richwoods. And I can honestly say, in the eleven years I've known him, he is he is a one of the most genuine, caring people I've ever met. Um, he is. Um, I, I, without further ado, I'd like to. Uh, I found out he was retiring, and that's when I was like we should do something nice for this guy. <laughs> um, so I went and just a quick side, I went through and asked several of the people that I know from different, that have been in theater performances at his, at his schools and people who knew him. And I asked all of them, like, I want to recognize principal polls for this work. Almost everybody was like, that is an awesome idea. I'm like, okay, I need you to write me like a paragraph of why you love him. Do you know how hard it is to get parents to actually write something? <laughs> so I think I've got one, but I have a whole bunch of like, it's a great idea. You should do this. So without further ado, ado I'd like to bring up uh, David Bowles, assistant principal of Richwoods High School. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, I actually disagree with one thing, Jeff. It's very easy for parents to write letters sometimes. <laughs> and retirement, Don, I do know that curling club. Um, it's a good place. It also has a nice spot in Cal here in the adjoining bar. So that's not one of our retirement years. I'd like to uh, introduce my wife, Sarah. Uh, she's been a big part of the things that have, uh, have happened. And real come on up, Sarah. One of the things. So uh, people that uh, and people ask for retirement what I'm doing, I'm the wrong person to ask. She's probably the one to ask. <laughs> so, um, but truly, truly, the work uh, that you do in the community, I've seen it as, as an employee for 35 years. Uh, it's it's so important. This community is an amazing place. We talk to people all the time who are younger, or older, and they either miss it or they want to come back. And so, the work you do uh, is so important. And I've seen it uh, firsthand at the school district, and it's been a great career. Uh, great families. I recognize great people, great people I've seen who have done so many things too, and you know, uh, over the years. And you are the reason this community and this world's a better place. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeffrey, and congratulations, David. Well deserved. Go Richwoods. <laughs> Nobody here knows I'm a Richwoods fan. So this concludes our annual awards day. Once again, thank you to Dick Marshall, Ashley Shrek, and Brent Ost for making special day happen. And it, the, a lot of hard work goes into this. So I really appreciate what they've done. And congratulations to all of our recipients. Have a great day.